Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be working on this. Uh, this is a Mercedes Sprinter, 2500 big ass van. And a buddy of mine owns this thing. And it's really loud going down the road. And in the winter, it's really lightweight. So we're outfitting this thing with plywood and some weight to like help this thing move down the road a little better and also not be quite so noisy. So let me show you what I've got so far and what I'm gonna do. So you can see here, I've already started ripping strips of plywood. Um, and what I did was I'm screwing into the framing here with sheet metal screws, self tappers, and I'm running around the wheel well. There's like a bead here that sticks out. So I'm staying away from the wheel well enough that I'm not gonna run onto that bead. And I'm running a different kind of bead. I'm running a bead of uh, caulking behind it. I'm using this stuff, uh, vinyl adhesive caulk. So this hopefully will work, it's translucent. Um, all I'm doing that for is to, to kind of like adhere this to the metal a little bit and also keep it from squeaking, hopefully. Um, once you start driving down the road with this thing, I don't know if it's gonna squeak or not. And I'm using these thin strips of wood, they're like maybe an eighth of an inch thick, to hold it up off of the floor and also to space between them. Just so again, running down the road, make sure everything's got a space so they're not squeaking. So the next sheet, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll leave a space between them. Um, and then you can see here, we've got bags of sand. I'm actually sticking in the wall. So we got these gallon bags. It looks like we're like hiding drugs in the wall or something, but I promise it's sand. <laughs> actually, you can see over here, here's the sand bags that when we got down to the bottom, we just put the bags in the wall themselves. There's a lip right here. So I'm gonna run these up to that and then run my next sheet down onto that. In here, you can see these uh, are set back from the framing. So I got some one inch foam board uh, and some quick grip construction adhesive Then I'm gonna stick these to the back of the plywood. Um, so they're hopefully not gonna rattle around inside here. And yeah, we're gonna screw it like crazy in here and hopefully knock down some of the noise and make this thing ride down the road a lot smoother and have more traction in the winter. Alrighty, so let me go through what I'm using to do this really quickly. First thing, I've got um, some sheets of three quarter inch plywood. This is poplar plywood. Got it from Lowe's for, I think it was like $49 a sheet. And then I got a couple four by eight sheets of this one inch thick foam for some insulation. I've got these self tapping uh, screws for attaching wood to metal. What's nice about these ones in particular, see those little tabs, these little ears? They drill out the wood so that the teeth don't bind. And I don't really know how to describe it. So that when the, when the tip hits the metal, it doesn't catch the threads and then push the wood away. If that, if you know what I mean, um, that drills it out so that the hole in the wood is wider than the threads. And then when that hits the metal, those snap off, which is pretty cool. So I got a couple boxes of those. I'm using this translucent Phenoseal vinyl adhesive caulk to do, to attach the wood to the metal uh, and to give it some like adhesive, obviously, but also to prevent vibrations and just to help this thing really tighten up. And then the Loctite Power Grab is for the uh, foam to attach to the metal and to attach the wood. So this is gonna give me a nice um, bond between everything so it's not rattling in there. I've also got a bunch of one by three and some shims and probably some other like drywall screws and stuff. And that's about it. We, we also used some of this, I don't even know what to call this stuff, to fill in the some of the holes um, just to cut down on some noise again. And the tools I'm gonna use, I'll link these all down in the description if I remember to. <laughs> but uh, I'm using a drill, an impact driver, a caulk gun, um, I'm using a light, and an extension cord. I'm using a circular saw, tape measure, pencil, chalk line, um, Sharpie, jigsaw, router. I'm gonna be using a 
just a straight router bit. Um, there's a couple spots where I have to route out behind it where some brackets are. I've got a big uh, square. I've also got my small square, my tool belt with assorted tools, a knife, definitely gonna need that to cut the foam, uh, my safety glasses, and of course the headphones. And drill bits just in case I need those to drill through the metal. So we'll find out soon enough. All right, so I'm going to keep cutting and I'll come back with a progress report in a little bit. All right, so got all the sandbags in. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start putting that second row on to cover that. And same thing over here. I got a couple foam pieces I stuck in over there to try to deaden the sound up by the cab. And like I said, we're gonna put some foam in this middle bay here, so. All right, here we go. All right, I got the second panel on here. So, looking pretty good. I gotta find a scrap to make that out of. Good to go. So my next eight foot sheet will be the same, land on the same line there. And then same thing here. Okay, here's a little progress report. So I've got this side, I got that wider panel done. Um, I wanted to show you what I did here. So this van, I don't know if you could tell, but there's a curve to this wall. Uh, the bottom section from here down is flat, so I didn't have to worry about this there, but this is curved. So this was basically, this is a four by eight sheet. That's 48 inches tall. I had just ripped uh, 13 inches, which got me over the wheel well. And then I forget what it was. I, I ripped 26 and a half first because there's a lip here. Like right here, you can see this lip. Um, so I needed this sheet to land under that. So that's what I started with, and then I ripped the sheet to get over the wheel well so that we could put the sheet on and then throw the sandbags in behind it and then fill that in as I showed you earlier. And so this sheet, because it's curved now, this is what I did. On the back side of the sheet, I ran a couple blades down it um, to help this thing get some flex. It did work pretty well. I did end up having to buy some longer screws. These are two inch long versus the other ones are like inch and a half um, because there was so much of a space behind these that the screws weren't long enough to grab the metal. So um, you can see right here, I've got a silver one and a gray one. So this is the new ones that I just got the long ones and that's the other ones. Once I got it sucked in, I was just able to use one of the shorter ones. And uh, so you can see the foams back there. It's all cut pretty close to fit. And I ran a bead of that construction adhesive. I did it in the corners and then there's like some main supports that I ran it on. Um, and then a couple spots in between so that this thing, once I shimmed it out, you can see all these shims in here. Um, this gives me something to screw to when I put the next sheet of plywood on since we're spanning, it's about four feet right here. Um, and I think that will work pretty good. That also holds this tight against the glue because again, this is bowed out on the outside of the van. So this, if I just put it in there flat, it wouldn't touch in the middle and it wouldn't touch all that glue I put in. So this helps push it out to the glue. Now I'm gonna throw on this side and see if I can get up to that point. And uh, yeah, so I can get them at the same height and then I've just got to rip a two foot piece for the top. All right. I'll check back in later. All right, so you can see I threw the uh, the construction adhesive. Which one is it? The Loctite here. So I put the power grab on there. This does great because you can like push the foam right on and it'll kind of hold itself there temporarily while I get the boards all mounted up. So that's why I like this stuff. It's good for certain applications. And then next I'm gonna use the vinyl adhesive caulk. I made a mark here where my top of my sheet's gonna come. So I'm gonna bead that all up on this surface so that uh, when I put the wood on, that's there. Alrighty, so I got that next row up there. So you can see uh, what I've got going on here. I got a whole bunch of shims. I don't know if I showed this before already, but I did the same exact thing on that side. So that's all screwed in there, nice and good. I offset the joint so it's not landing um, where the 
other one is so it helps carry that load through and the same thing over here i'm going to run this one straight through not ending on there should stiffen that right up and uh yeah once i get that piece on then i just have the top strip left to put on all right so we got this top row all uh i don't i don't know what to call it insulated i guess but it's like this i don't really know it's uh covering that comes on top of furniture this this van's for a furniture shop so this is just stuff you had laying around we're jamming into all these little holes here and the plywood's going to cover that and that'll really tighten this van up um the only thing we're not doing is the ceiling or the roof whatever you want to call it but it does have these little foam pads stuck to it which were not on the rest of the van so that should reduce some of the noise up here uh, so hopefully we'll see what this thing rides like when it's done i mean most importantly we wanted to add weight and be able to add tie downs anywhere on this thing so now we can do that we got a bunch of d-rings we're gonna screw into here once this is done but yeah so i'm just gonna throw these last couple sheets on be done here all right here we go wrap it up i had some foam left over so we actually glued some pieces in here help muffle some of that noise and uh yeah it looks really good um last thing we're gonna do is just put the d-rings in but i'm not exactly sure where he wants to do those yet so i'm gonna run on that by him and uh throw them in but they can go literally anywhere now because I've got three quarter inch solid plywood everywhere screwed to the frame of this van and uh, you can see I notched out for the light and the same thing over there so that's it all right well thanks for watching if you got anything out of this video make sure you give it a thumbs up down below uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video